is by water to direction. Paul says, I beseech you, brethren, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord, for this is your reasonable service. Do not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye means that the purpose of consecration is to receive ability for direction. So we don't know the will of God. Except you consecrate yourself. That's what I also heard when Elisha Mama was talking, that fellowship guarantees direction. See, your prayer and your fasting is not only instrumental for anointing, it's instrumental for direction. Your prayer and fasting helps you to know your devotion in, in, in lifestyle, like those who started talking hands on it, is that it gives you directions. Refusal to collect bribe, consecrating yourself in the place of purity, sexual purity, is pivotal to knowing the will of God and knowing the direction of God. Gone are the days that you think that your prayer and your fasting is just to receive grace to preach the gospel. As long as this is kingdom world, if it is kingdom world, it has kingdom's ingredients. You see, it is he who gives you power to make world. That he might establish his covenant. The word covenant there is buried. It's not just cutting into pieces. It's not just passing through as we always know. The word there in context also talk about confederacy. You know that word is talk about alliance. So God gives words that he may establish his alliance. Just like no Antarctic trade organization like NATO. God is looking for alliance. So he gives power for you to make world. That he will have alliance. God doesn't have fornicators as allies. He doesn't have thieves and murderers as allies. He has people that carry his character as his allies, even in terms of economy, even in terms of military, in terms of politics. That's why you are talking about kingdom world. So what I'm saying is that everything you begin to do must be holistic. The issue of financial advancement, financial prosperity, is not an elective, it's a caucus. Is holistic because sorry sir you know when I sat down and Pastor Gosri was talking and he began to talk about the fact that it's like God caught him away from that atmosphere of soaking what he wanted to do and then brings money then I have not seen that he has not lost the atmosphere yeah. Yeah. I didn't see him losing the atmosphere yeah. it's just that God is is showing to him that all oh, that I was asking you to tank up, this is the channel. This is how I want you to release it. So in case you are thinking that money reduces anointing is a lie. Yeah. And that is what I believe Elisha Mama began to talk about. Once you discover that money has a tendency of making you serve mammon, then you are not ready for kingdom world. And that's why he says you can just see as if God prays on everyone and do not allow people to talk on mundane things. Clearly you are seeing the evidence that this one has touched wealth. But wealth is not it. Because when the Bible talks about worshipping mammon, it's not only the rich that worship mammon. That's one of the misconceptions people have. In fact, it is better that you are a rich man who worship mammon than to be a poor man who worship mammon. Because if a rich man's money possesses him, he's a worshiper of mammon. And if a poor man doesn't think of anything but money, he's a worshiper of mammon. And it's better to have money and worship money than not to have money and worship money. And that is why we see it is very terrible for believers. Lift up your hands. I know why I'm saying this. Somebody is asking, why are we praying this kind of prayer, Apostle? After hearing this, you think when you hear a Jimmy, all you want to hear now is, okay, what are the principles of Forex? What are the strategies? How do you understand the indicators and all that? <laughs> and then he began to pray. You hear Pastor Ghost will talk, and then his entry into the prophetic. Even the general overseer of our agreement international ministry. <laughs> 
Could you speak about the principle, the two principles that end poverty and two principles that create wealth? He ended up in prayer. Is that Lord is saying to us that in these last days, the three P's have been restored. Yeah. Purity, power, and prosperity. Lift up your hands and begin to pray. Ask him, let that portion be released to you. That the eyes of our understanding be enlightened. Hey. That we will know the hope of our calling and the glorious riches of an inheritance in the saints. That is a powerful prayer to pray. It can be for seven years like him. It can be for ten years. It can be for twenty years. Let my eyes be open. Basufalita Engrako Palati Emanu Sainka Bazuba Zabali Rana Sokotaika Mejia Zabali Araparia Ruskabanta Eneno Sapelia Angas Kotebia Rabaria Tesa Kutebelia Embrenta Zaparia Roscopuria Penizati Katuskevia Emenano Sibelanta Embracura Tasapaya and Katemeno Shike and Beguliva Yavranta Zapela Katana. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And finally, Apostle, you are the one that is causing this trouble. You know, in this department, I'm not an instructor. I'm only a beneficiary. So, I didn't want to talk. I love to hear about kingdom world. But I know I'm not an instructor in kingdom world. I'm a beneficiary. My department is different. Amen. But I like this department so much. Amen. So, all I will say is because I sense an urgency in all our ministers today. I was listening actually online before I went to pray. I was listening to Pastor Isaiah, I think, and I... Okay, my wife was telling me about what Apostle Jacob was saying, and then quite a number. Then she joined me where I was praying, and we began coming, listening to Pastor Jimmy talking. And then I sensed an urgency in everybody talking. I sensed an urgency. Everybody is speaking. It's like it's an implementing moment. It's an implementing season. Uh, Pastor Ghost was saying that March is not permitted to finish. I had Elisha mom and saying now. And it reminded me of what I shared in just That there is only one person that speaks in this exclusive way. Jesus Christ. He will say, the time coming now is. Every other person speaks. But when it comes to Jesus, he will say, the time coming. And now is now is, is an exclusive right of Jesus Christ. What it means is that every other person was speaking in the realm of the prophetic, I speak in the realm of fulfillment. It means every prophecy, as long as Jesus appears, is now is. And if we're in the order of Christ for us, every prophecy is now is. So lift up your hands and say, Now is. Can you say it from your spirit? Every prophecy about kingdom below near us now is. Every prophecy about kingdom financiers now is. If you have ever had any prophecy that a time shall come that the church will become an institution on our own and a government now. If the vision for COP50 is about raising millionaires, kingdom billionaires in the north, I say to you, now. Is. From now henceforth, don't live in the future, live in now. Now is. Now is. Lift up your hands and celebrate Him. Hallelujah. Um, it's been such a blessing so far. One of the things that is exciting my heart about this meeting is that this is um, God's plan for the season. It's so strong. Pastor Jimmy is here. You know, last year, I began to pick it in my heart about having a king, um, believers, entrepreneurs, and finance conference. I've never had it in church. It just came strong. Last year, I reached out to him. I showed you, when I saw your meeting, I showed you the handbill that we had done and all that. And, and it's it's in March, next month. And it seems to appear that this is what God is emphasizing in the season. And when God begins to emphasize a certain thing in the season, it, it begins to 
you know, it, it starts coming up in the heart of different people. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And, it's, and if there is anything we must pay attention to now, as believers in Christ Jesus, is this topic that we're talking, talking about right now. We must pay attention to it. Glory to God. Amen. But the, the prayer in my heart for us right now as touching kingdom finance. Kingdom finance is not something you can work for. It's not something you can work for. The one you can work for, that's not what God is talking about. I don't care where you are working. I don't care how much you are paying you. It, it's not by labor. It's not something that will come by your effort. It's, it's something supernatural. Something that will flow to you. And one of the ways this happens is what um, um, Pastor Elisha Maman was talking about. How he was... <laughs> I was he was in that office when that that conversation was yes. happening, and it brings me to Ecclesiastes nine verse eleven. The, the NLT, it says it's about being at the right place at the right time, and it's all tied to what it was also talking about. Being at the right place at the right time has to do with hearing the voice of God. So if there's one thing a believer must not joke with in this season, is speaking divine signals hearing what God is saying and just following it through is all we need in this season aside the effort, the labors and all we are putting in is the, the Bible does not condemn that because God does not intend that our work be our source that's why Paul admonishing told them he said let him who stole he said let him steal no more but working with his hands let him have to give not let him have to sustain himself because God does not he don't design it that your work should be your sustenance he wants to be your source he wants to have the glory and if that finance is going to flow through you it, it's going to be tied strongly to his leading and to his voice so my prayer for you tonight is in the name of Jesus that you will hear his voice and you will be in the right place at the right time in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and that your name will come out in places that matter your thought will drop in the heart of men that matter in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in this season you will not miss divine signals and as we tarry in the place of prayer we keep praying one of the things that will come in this season is alignment you will be aligned with God's plan and purpose for your life you will be in the right place at the right time your name will shoot up in the right places men will have conversations and your name will pop up and by that divine orchestration your finances will take a new turn in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, this is a very strategic meeting. Obviously, God orchestrated this to shift many people into their divine ordination. Especially as touching the matters of kingdom wealth. Um, we all are aware that Jesus is coming for a glorious church, spotless church not just a church that will be known for miracles, for signs, but a church that will demonstrate the wealth of heaven, even in the earth. Um, and I believe that God has led these wonderful speakers, everyone who had mounted this podium today to speak, not just to speak words, but to release spirits. The Bible says, while he speak, the spirit entered into me, and set me upon my feet. And I speak this to you prophetically. If you have been lame financially, if you have been down financially, what you heard today are not just words. They are spirits. And you must understand that wealth is also spiritual. And I believe that that's one of the reasons why God has led everybody here to emphasize the place of relationship, the place of connection, the place of prayer. I want you to believe today that something has changed in your life. I stand in agreement with the coalition of apostolic forces represented here, men and women of God, representing God in different faces. The Bible declares that if two of you shall agree as touching anything, it will be established. We speak into the lives of everyone here that you will come back with testimonies that only God can give. Indeed, you will come back and say, really, it is not by might, it is not by power, but this one has been by the Spirit of God. Now, it doesn't matter how you came here. It doesn't matter what is in your bank account right now. It doesn't matter that your, your story right now. 
I speak to you in the name of Jesus. You go in this might and you will conquer. A new dimension of wealth opens up to you. New ideas. That mental limitation is broken right now. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that the earth will yield a harvest for you. You will not labor like others. Little impute, maximum impact in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare, the Bible says, as they speak one to another, it says a book of remembrance was opened in heaven. I decree because of the conversations that has happened here today, a book of remembrance is open for your sake in the name of Jesus. Because of you, the territory is going to experience the might of God. In the name of Jesus, your story is changing, your family's story is changing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree that by the time we converge again next time for call 50, it will be testimonies of greatness. None will be small. The Bible says the least among you will be as David. But I decree and I declare what eyes have not seen in Kaduna, what ears have not heard, the dimensions of prosperity. People will ask, who are these ones? Who are these that fly? Who are these commanding this dimension of wisdom and wealth? In the name of Jesus, you went into that reality. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Please, let's celebrate. Come on, do it better.